Another example is uh, whereby we have somebody who wants to measure the time and date of a digital closure and the time and date of a digital opening and just simply record those. So let's uh, have a look at what's involved in that. Again, I'll click on a new program, maximise that. Now what we're going to do is every time the digital closure, I'm going to trigger on a digital one when it is positive and what I'm going to record, I right click there, I'm going to record the date and record the time except I'm going to change the uh, date so this is um, pause, we'll call it pause, date pause, pause date now right click here channel options, internal properties call this one pause time Now we're going to use Schedule B now. I'm going to do the reverse this time. I'm going to trigger this one on digital on the negative. Okay. Again, I'm going to record the date. Right click, time. Now I right click there, internal properties, and this is neg date. Channel options, internal properties, neg time. Okay, I'll take a just clear it. One thing you can do if you wish, you can click on reset there, it removes everything from the logger, clears it up before we send the new program through. Program center connection. All right, data is going through. I'll bring over here to the text window. The program's all the way through there. Now, when there is a digital, there's the negative date and time, and when we remove the connection, there's our positive. Negative, positive. Very simple, fast program. The only difficulty here, of course, is the fact we're not measuring subseconds. It can measure subseconds, uh, it just takes a little bit more code.